You know, this spine craw is an absolutely fantastic punch bait. The, the claws on this thing move incredibly fast and really tight. It's got a real tight, fast claw action. And um, when it plops through the grass and goes down and those little pinchers are moving like wildfire, it really, it really elicits strikes from the bass. It's a, it comes through the grass really nice and it's a real versatile bait. I mean, this bait can be Carolina rigged, it can be fished on a shaky head, it could be fished on a swim jig. I mean, just about anything you could think of, this bait really lends itself well to those applications. That's why I like it so much. It gives me the ability not to have to carry tons and tons of different soft plastics in my boat. Got him. That fish ate it right underneath the mat. Oh, stay on. That's a nice one. Let's see. We'll just flip you in the boat. Ah, punching the yum spine craw. Today seems like the perfect day to punch, but the water color is insanely off from what it normally is, and the spine craw has just the right action to get the job done in this off color water. I'm gonna ch chuck this guy back. I wanna show you this rigging technique for punching this spine craw. When I punch the spine craw, what I like to do is I'll flip the spine craw over upside down and I'll go to the second rib and I'll insert my rattle on the second rib. Now it's important to do this on the second rib and I'll tell you why. Because when you put the hook into the bait, which I'm gonna show you right now, when you put the hook into the bait, the hook point is gonna come through and it's gonna come through just behind the first rib, right there. So by going into the second rib, you're not putting the hook in contact with the glass rattle. The other thing I'll do is when I rig the bait, there's a line, there's, a, there's actually a spine on the craw, on the back of the craw. So you can see the spine and my hook point is directly in line with the spine. So then I'll text pose the hook like that. So the hook's text posed, it's nice and straight, giving the little claws all the freedom they need for that tight, rapid action. That's the punching setup for the spine crawl.